Hi friends, it's me, Miss Kayla here at Hoover Public Library, and I would like to share with you a random act of read aloud. Today's story is called Laxmi's Mooch. It is written by Shelley Anon, and it is illustrated by Nabi H. Ali. Let's jump right into it. Laxmi's Mooch. Very pretty illustrations. Look at the butterflies. Hi, I'm Lakshmi. Come here, closer. You see that? That's my mooch. What's a mooch, you ask? These little hairs above my lip. It's okay, you can look. I never really thought about my mooch until the other day when my friends and I were playing farm animals at recess. Zoe was a horse, Noah was a cow, and Zoe said, Laxmi, you're a cat, okay? I want to be a chicken, I said, but you're the perfect cat. You have these little hairs on your lip like cat whiskers, said Zoe. I do? I asked. Meow, said Noah. Yeah, you have a little mustache like my dad. My cheeks grew as hot as a steaming bowl of mummy's aloo gobi. Laxmi's not very happy, is she? I went to the bathroom after recess and looked in the mirror. Zoe was right. I did look like a cat with small black whiskers. I sat at my desk with my hand over my mouth so no one could see my mooch. Everywhere I walked, I thought I heard kids whisper, meow. The whole day, I kept noticing hair all over my body, on my arms and legs and knuckles even in the space between my eyebrows. When I got home that afternoon, Mummy asked, how was school, Beta? Well, Zoe said I could make a good cat, I said. Aw, you're my little Billy, she said. No, Mummy, she was calling me Harry. Huh, I thought we named you Laxmi said Papa, looking up from the roti he was making on the stove. No, look, I'm hairy. I have hair all over my body. I have a mustache. Hun, I also have a mooch, said Mummy. But Mummy, I thought mooches were just for boys like Papa. Nay, you know we come from a long line of women with mooche, said Mummy. We do? Like who? From Mughal empresses and stately Ranis to village girls and city girls, even your nani and cousin Radha. Everyone has a mooch, really. But I also have hair on my arms and legs. I have hair all over. Mummy shrugged. Tokia. So what? Hair is just for your head. Laxmi's having a hard time, huh? Mummy smiled. Nay, Beta. We have hair everywhere. But why? It protects you and keeps you warm. Just feel it. So nice and soft, she said. But look at this hair between my eyebrows. Yes, it's lovely, just like Frida Kahlo, said Papa. Who? I asked. Frida Kahlo, she was a famous artist from Mexico. Oh, I think it kind of looks like a caterpillar, I said. Caterpillars are the coolest, Beta. They build cocoons and become butterflies, said Papa. First I'm a billy and now I'm a butterfly, I asked. That night, I dreamed about royal Bengal tigers prowling through the Sunderbans. 
Their long black whiskers danced in the hot breeze and butterflies flew behind them, fluttering around their long tails. The next day at recess, Zoe wanted to play farm animals again. Let's play jungle animals instead. I'm a tiger with my long, silky mooch, I said. A long, silky what, said Zoe. Mooch, it's Hindi for mustache. Well, what should I be, said, asked Zoe. I walked up to Zoe and got really close. I saw tiny blonde hairs on her lip. She, sure enough, had a mooch too. You should be a lion with your shiny blonde whiskers, I whispered. I don't have whiskers, Zoe said. Do too, I said. We both ran to the bathroom and looked in the mirror. I don't see anything, Zoe said. Move in closer, I told her. She leaned in so close that her nose left a little smudge on the glass. Oh, she said, and then she slowly smiled. When we came out of the bathroom, Noah was waiting for us. Hey, what about me? Do I have a mooch? He asked. Zoe and I both looked, but we didn't see a single hair above his lip. Nope, said Zoe. Yeah, I don't see anything, Noah, but maybe we can draw one on for you? Until your real one comes in, I said. Okay, agreed Noah. A small group of the other kids in our class crowded around as I carefully drew a mooch on Noah's lip. Me next, said Savi. Me too, please, after Savi, asked Timmy. They lined up behind Noah for my world-class mooches. I don't need one, I already have some hair there, Lucha smiled proudly. So do I, cheered Azaru. Pretty soon, everyone was showing off their mooches, real and drawn. So, will you show me yours? Let's show off our mooches. Do you have a mooch? <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed that story today. I know I did. Come on by Hoover Public Library Children's Department and check out this book the next time you're here. See ya.